Hello, hello, hello. We're back with another video. You're going to get so sick of me. Uh, in today's video, we are going to be looking at the seamless floral pattern stencil, and it has five pieces in it. And uh, I have already uh, taken these and uh, sprayed them with a teeny tiny bit of uh, pixie spray. Not much, mind you, just a teeny tiny bit, like push, push, basically. This have more to do about getting all the details nice and crisp instead of actually finding or like sticking it to the paper. Because you don't want too much of the sticky stuff on your paper because then it's going to kind of make your paper, paper a bit too sticky. Uh, right, so we are going to be using the Tailored Expressions uh, blender brushes today and I'm, yeah, I'm getting a little bit obsessed with like swirling them around because it just looks so fun with all the colors going round and round. So yeah. We are going to hop into the actual ink blending now. Uh, this first bit is going to be in sort of real time. And I picked out some inks here and they're all kind of very pastel-y. And uh, I didn't actually end up using the lilac ones, but I knew for sure I wanted to use the yellow because I love this yellow. I mean, for someone who isn't such a big fan of yellow, I'm using it a lot. I should say something. <laughs> So I have um, started by just, um, you might have noticed as well that I rub my brush first on the ink pad and then I tap off the excess on the lid. And you might think, what are you doing, you crazy woman? There is a reason for this. So you get your blender brush nice and saturated, but then you tap off the excess on the lid so that you don't get such harsh lines. And then if you need a super, super light look, Instead of going in on your ink pad, you dab your brush on the lid. Genius, right? Even if I may say so myself. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're actually going to um, be achieving a bit of a rainbow, pastel -y rainbow blend look. It doesn't make sense when I say it, but just, just wait till we get there until the end. So the idea basically is that we are going to be using the three stencils that offer the flowers or the petals. Um, actually, four stencils. Because it's only the last one that we're not using inks on. So the idea is that we're going to, in all four of these stages, we're going to put down the same color in the same areas. And uh, I did have to go in with a um, life-changing blender brush from Picket Fan Studios as well, because... I realized I did not have a turquoise brush, so clearly I need to buy the next load of blender brushes from Tailored Expressions as well. That is a valid reason to shop, yes? If you want to say no, I don't want to hear it, okay? I only want to hear yeses. So, <laughs> I have from the top there, I've gone in with sky blue, which is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, such a gorgeous blue. And then... I have gone in with a little bit of um, Ocean Breeze next down, and then we're going to go in with Mint, so we're going to actually use the green brush from the Tailored Expressions um, round there. And we are just going in kind, kind of light, and then we're overlapping the colors a little bit. So in the bit where it's just that color, we're going in a little bit heavier, and then we're kind of easing it out onto, or onto the area where the next color is going to go so that we can then put the next color on sort of on top to blend them together to get that sort of seamless look. I did promise in my blog post that this is going to make a lot more sense in the video and I am asking you now to do as I do instead of listening to what I'm saying because I'm even myself acknowledging that. It doesn't always make a lot of sense. Oops. Okay, so that is a motorcycle going past my house. That is not someone having a record, a long fart or anything like that. I just want to point that out. Okay, so we have done the first layer. Now we're going to go in with the second one here. So we are using the marks on the stencils. So if you, if you wonder like, oh, how am I going to know where they're going to go? Don't you worry, look at those marks there. So you have four of those in each one of the corners. And if you cut out your panel to a five and a half by four and a quarter inch, you just place your stan stan stencil, no, no, your stencil down and make sure you line up the corners into those little marks and voila, perfection. So 
these this is another like super genius idea by Pinkfresh. Hats off, kudos, parade. Let's do it all because this is seriously genius. And um, yeah, so um, here we're doing the same thing. So we're going in with sky blue and uh, a little bit of the ocean breeze. And we are going to go in with the mint. Or maybe I skipped the mint. I've already done the mint. Yeah, and then we're going to go in with the lemon whip. And the pink is the ballad slipper. And as I said, I did realize eventually, uh, or while I was doing the first layer, that I just wasn't going to fit the soft lilac in. So I didn't end up using those. But I did use those for another card, which is also in this video. So hang on in there. So we are going to take sensor number two off. And look at that! Isn't that so cool? I am loving where this is turning out. So we're going to do stencil number three. And again, um, same colors all over. But what I did do on this one as well is that I um, I masked off the areas that are going like in the middle of the flowers and some of the highlights because I wanted to kind of keep everything separate, if that makes sense. So for the stencil number four, I did use um, a little bit of the darker bits just to kind of add in a little bit of like contrast and funness or depth I should say the funness is coming now so with stencil number five we're gonna add a little pizzazz with Nuo glimmer paste in moonstone oh yes we are so you don't need a much for this uh, there's hardly anything at all really used because the details are so small and fine however it just adds a little something to it if you've seen this card on my social media before then you will know what i'm talking about because this if i may say so myself turned out rather spectacular you know it's something you're trying something out and it's an experiment i mean i wasn't really sure that this was going to work i was just kind of playing around and having a good old time in the craft room as you do and then this happened this happened oh yeah that happened too the smack the smack back that's thanks to the uh the pixie spray but look at that isn't that so cool eee! i love 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 how that turned out but i have to set that aside to dry while you know while that's drying because i am one of those who will touch everything before it's dry and mess everything up so when that was finished i um did actually trim down the panel or oh, the drying was finished. The drying was finished. I trimmed down the panel a little bit and added that to a black card base uh, or a black panel. Uh, but before I did that, I did something again which I thought was rather genius. I cut out my word Dysenti. Uh, sen yeah, I might have had a little bit too much chocolate recently. I did cut out my Dysentiment uh, out of the panel because that is not going to show on the card anyway. So that whole thing is going to go on a card base. So I thought that was a genius way of saving a bit of a uh, cardstock so i am um, i'm just going to finish that off with um another little piece of a sentiment and this is the other card that i finished so while the glimmer paste was drying i thought hey why not try something else so i did use the soft lilac and the candy violet and i did also use some um, coral colors and also the warm buff of uh, colors then i stamped up a sentiment there with again i think there's a scattered twigs actually and the stamp set is from through the trees and uh, i yeah i did have a little bit of a mishap with the the embossing powder however i do think that it can add a little bit of a um, vintagey romantic soft feel so i decided to use that anyway and uh, i'm really glad i did and this is how that card finished off. So our friendship is awesome, which I think is it's a nice thing to send to someone, isn't it? But anyway, that's it for me for today. I am off, but I will link everything down below. And thank you so much for stopping by today.